Hello and welcome to Aspirin Study Circle. Today we will try to discuss bits, important bits with respect to science and technology. So let us start with the first question. So first question of Chessy, the term ACE2 is talked about in the context of in the UPSC 2022 low adigna question, preliminary question. Okay, so what is ACE2 about? So first option genes introduced in genetically modified plants development of india's own satellite navigation system radio collars for wildlife tracking fourth option which is spread of viral diseases so ikkada right answer vachesi spread of viral diseases so ace2 is a protein so this protein when the virus attacks it binds to this protein so when spike protein any we must have heard in the news with respect to covid 19 right so spike protein which is it comes and binds to this receptor which is a protein so that is the reason why this question was asked now moving on to the next question the term sagittarius a star is about in the context of so the first option is star constellation second black hole first manned interplanetary space travel for none of the above so ikkada right answer vachesi it is black hole so our milky way our galaxy the name of our galaxy mana galaxy parent ante it is milky way so in the center of our milky way there is a black hole which is named as Sagittarius A and it was recently photographed so that is the reason why it is in news so Sagittarius A star the term is with respect to black hole now moving on to the next question consider the following statements about gaganyaan program gaganyaan program gurinchi adugutunnaru so it envisages indigenous capability to undertake human space flight or stationary orbits only usa russia china have managed to send manned missions to outer space the launch vehicle is gslv mark 3 that has a capability to put 10 ton satellites in low earth orbit so we will try to find out which is the incorrect tappuna statement ni we'll try to find out so it envisages an indigenous capability yes this is right to undertake human space flight this is also right to geostationary orbit this is wrong so it envisages to put it in low earth orbit so low earth orbit so geostationary orbit so let's say approximately they are at a distance of 3000 kilometers and low earth orbits are less than 2000 kilometers but for all practical purposes uh usually when we talk about uh, low earth orbits gunchi maatladukunte manam around 500 to 600 so kani option lo maatram less than 2000 anedi we have to consider so the first option is wrong only us russia china have managed to send manned missions to outer space this is right so we will become the fourth country to do so the launch vehicle of gslv mark 3 has capability of to put 10 ton weight satellites into low earth orbits this is also right so manamu geo stationary transfer orbits anum so we can gslv can put about 4 ton but with respect to leo it can put about 10 ton okay now moving on so the answer over here is 2 and 3 so moving on to the next question pm vani gurinchi adugutunnaru pm vani scheme is about so environmentally sustainable practices in public spaces wifi connection across railway stations doorstep health clinics for below poverty line category none of the above so ikkada the right answer is wifi connection so pm vani scheme it intends uh, to provide for wifi connections across around 22 railway stations as of now so this is important so moving on to the next question which of the following statements about pollination is incorrect tappu statement entani adugutunnaru so first 
हनी बीज बटरफ्लैस बैट्स बर्ड्स आर् कंसीडर्ड इंपारटेंट बयोटि पॉलीटर्स बयोटि अटे नाचुल नाचुल पॉलीटर्स ओके सेलफ पॉलीनेशन लीड्स टू रिडक्शन इन जेनेटिक डवर्सीटी सेलफ पॉलीनेशन ओके इन पॉलीनेशन देर इज ट्रांसफर आफ पॉल फ्रम आंथर् टू स्टिग्म आल स्टेट आर् करेक्ट सो इक रईट आंसर वे आल स्टेट आर् करेक्ट सो हनी बीज बटरफ्लैस बैट्स बर्ड्स all are very important pollinators self pollination leads to reduction in genetic diversity this is true so if there needs to be better genetic diversity if genetic diversity increase avvalante there has to be cross pollination so self pollination toti a uh, diversity anedi taggutundi so cross pollination will increase diversity okay so in pollination there is transfer of pollen from anther anther ochesi this is the male part of the flower stigma ochesi this is the female part of the flower so pollen goes from male to female so all of the statements are correct so before we move on to the next questions brief ga manam what are the vitamins what are the deficiencies valo che diseases gurinchi maatladukundam so a is retinol so retinol valla manaku night blindness okay and at the same time koncham uh, reproductive issues kuda untai so you need to have carrots spinach milk so ilanti foods teeskunte that will be full of vitamin a now b lo vachesi b1 just ee kuda group pettukol b1 ante thiamine b2 ante riboflavin b12 ante cyanocobalamin so these things you have to remember right so deficiency of b1 causes beri beri okay so ante beri beri as in uh, weak muscles weight losses so remember as weak muscles okay next so similarly if you talk about b12 okay anemia anemia is related to vitamin b12 ante extreme fatigue untundi uh, depression dementia so these are all Uh, related to deficiency with respect to B12. So, vitamin C. Go into more later. Come to. So, the deficiency causes scurvy. Scurvy is nothing but bleeding gums, skins with the spots on the damu. So, and also it may even affect immune system. But bleeding gums is main important. Mainly that is with respect to deficiency of vitamin C. Vitamin D deficiency leads to rickets. so what is rickets rickets is weakening of bones chala fragile aipovadam okay decay of teeth so that is with respect to rickets now k vitamin k ochesi excessive bleeding due to injury ante sariga blood clot avvakapovadam so inability to form blood clots clot avvadu so excessive bleeding dabba daakinappudu it doesn't clot so that is with respect to k now type of minerals gurinchi maatladukunte so calcium so calcium ochesi it is very important for the bones so brittle bones and phosphorus ochesi very important for the teeth and bones iron takku unte there is anemia okay at the same time iodine deficiency causes goiter which is enlarged thyroid gland okay copper ochesi retarded growth is important so we'll move on to the questions so deficiency of vitamin a causes as we have seen over here deficiency causes night blindness right now deficiency of vitamin d vitamin d so we spoke about it so it is rickets rickets is nothing but vitamin d which is weakening of bones okay weakening of bones now moving on to the next question deficiency in vitamin e okay we did not talk about vitamin e e over here so vitamin e deficiency gurinchi maatladukunte it causes very very heart problems hemolysis less fertility scurvy none of the above so ikkada right answer vachesi heart problems hemolysis and this is the sterility kuda antaru sterile antaru kada sterility so this is the right answer now moving on deficiency of vitamin k okay so deficiency of vitamin k ochesi as we spoken about clot over the blood excessive bleeding vitamin k so 
the right answer is excessive bleeding due to injury so this these were the topics for today if you enjoyed the session like share and subscribe thank you